Hello and welcome to the Dinosaur Walk Cycle Tutorial. And I want to start this off by having a completely new slate with no animation on either the Daz timeline or the Animate 2 timeline. Both of these are free of any previous data because this is a new document. So I'm going to go over here and uh, let me find my content here and I'm going to add this little dinosaur here into the scene from uh, what is that from? It's from that's one of Daz's I believe anyway wherever it's from I'm going to add it it's called Jumperia I'm pretty sure that was a freebie at Daz at one point. Double click on it and load it into the scene. And, uh, damn, didn't mean to do that. I need to find the scene tab. Sounds like there's a helicopter out there. Yep, there it goes. Okay, make sure that this is selected because, uh, we're going to want to see some of this later on as we start doing the animation. And I'm going to start off things by going to the left view and uh, centering this guy up in the view a little bit. And we're going to expand our animation to 61 frames. Enter 61, hit the enter key on the keyboard, and now we have a range of 0 to 60. That'll give us roughly 2 seconds. Well, actually, it'll give us exactly 2 seconds of animation. So we'll start off this here, and I'm going to start off by putting both legs in the most extended position to start off the walk cycle and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to start here. We'll move this one back. Yeah, move it way back there. And we're going to Pull this guy down a little too before I'm done. Gonna move these bones around. And I'm gonna pull him down. And put him on the ground plane again. And I'm gonna continue working with the feet and the legs. And I'm going to move that front one way the hell out there. As yeah, so I select and move things around here. And now this is where I would imagine to be the, the rearward most position of one leg and the forward most position of the other leg. And the body is in a down position. So we're going to start the cycle off by moving this leg here. And the first thing we got to do is we got to advance the slider out for 10 frames of animation. I'm going to select this leg. I'm going to bring it oh, roughly about uh, maybe a third of the distance. And I'm going to... Uh, Move that there, and I'm going to take him up a little bit. This leg is going to be the leg that is supporting the weight, and it's going to be the leg that we want to keep on the ground plane. So to do that, I'm going to select the hip. I'm going to go back into parameters, and I'm going to move it up. And 
And now we're going to animate the rear leg. And with regards to the rear leg coming forward, we want to make sure we keep the foot up off of the ground. So we're going to be keeping our eye on that as we move this front foot around. And as we do, the program is automatically adding the keyframes. And whenever there's a, a triangle, a, a keyframe has been added. And now we're going to keep on keeping on here by moving to frame 20. And we're going to continue. And at this point, I want to move that shin forward some and start this leg on down. Now it's, can't seem to get a selection on the, uh, yeah, there we go, right thigh, okay. Wanna move this leg back again and as it's going back, we want to uh, go into the thigh, I mean into the hip again, and we want to move it up a little bit more. I'm going to move that to uh, correspond just a little bit more. and. We're going to do one more move, which will bring us to the halfway point. And once we reach the halfway point, this leg will need to be all the way back, and this leg will need to be all the way forward. So let's go ahead and take it to the halfway point. Move this leg. All the way back. This leg all the way forward. Come on, let's have that universal manipulator out there. I need that. And you know what? At this point, we should also drop him to the ground again, so I'm going to bring this shin bone here. I'm going to bring that back up some. I'm going to switch that, pull that up some, and then I'm going to drop him back down. Put him back down on the ground plane. like that and we have come one half of the way through the walk cycle now and what we will need to do is we will need to reverse it so we get back to where we were at the beginning so we end up with them back here so we've almost got it done We want to make sure that the leg that is supposed to be on the ground is actually on the ground and the one that's supposed to be not on the ground is actually up in the air. So let's advance 10 more frames and we'll start the whole thing going again. Start moving this guy back. foot and it needs to be on the ground this the no 
on load bearing foot. Start stepping through it. All right. Take them ten more frames. And keep going. Start bringing him down a little bit, too. Now, try to get the other leg. Keep it moving forward. to plant that foot on the ground so it will become the load bearing. Now we're going to advance to the end of the walk cycle. Gonna bring this guy back. Adjust the foot to be on the ground. Just this guy so that he is also on the ground. And then we're going to lower the dinosaur a little bit more. Make everything touching the ground at this point. Now let's go ahead and uh, step this thing through manually by grabbing the slider and see what we've got. And basically through here we want to add some keyframes to bring this leg down to the ground surface so as I see this leg coming up I'm going to just move so that it's in contact with the ground as that is supposed to be the load bearing part of the, at this point, part of the uh, anatomy. Move it. 
move it down. Move it down. legs where they need to be and we can set the thing to shuffle move it to perspective view and run him along and that's one walk cycle your mileage may vary See you next time.